And from here at the United Center, we say good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Joe Donlin. Great to have you with us. Been a very busy afternoon here with several of the acts warming up today. President Biden on stage just a short time ago to get an idea of the stage set up, the sight lines, the cameras, the teleprompter. We'll show you more of what's happening here at the United Center in a minute. But let's right now bring in former Chicago Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy. And Gary, I guess my first question to you is, what is the biggest challenge from a police standpoint when you have this many people demonstrating? Hello? Oh, can you hear me? I have. Superintendent, I'll tell you, what is the biggest challenge for people, um, for police, when they were planning an event like this, when there were such big protests? Well, the, obviously looking for, looking at public safety from both the residents and the, and the protesters. Um, as we know, there's going to be people who are looking to disrupt those protests and cause problems. Uh, it happens every time. Um, and the idea is to really just try and keep it calm and uh, safe while at the same time. The bicycles uh, are a great tool, marching with the protesters, keeping them uh, moving the way that, that the route is supposed to go and keeping them away from the sidewalks and the people who are, who are just moving about their, mm -hmm. their day. You oversaw NATO when it was here in 2012, another ma big major event with a lot of VIPs in town. Any lessons learned from that that you're seeing put into place today with CPD's response? Well, the first thing, the only thing I've seen so far is the bicycles. Right. I, I don't know what the, what the plan has been as far as communications and how they're um, making sure that everything is being communicated properly, nor do I know what the plan is. Mm -hmm. So uh, just watching the bicycles, that's something that we really, really, really were happy with. You could use them as barriers. They're very mobile. They could stay next to the protesters. They could get in front of them if we see where they're going. Um, communication, using the pod cameras that run across the city so we could see where people are congregating and perhaps how groups are getting together. And, and addressing that. And the other thing is keeping it calm, not wading into a crowd, but extracting an individual who might be trying to agitate the crowd and cause problems. Have you seen anything that concerns you so far? Uh, not yet. I mean, right now it looks like your run-of-the-mill protests that we deal with all the time in mm -hmm. policing. Um, there happens to be a lot of them, uh, and it's obviously complicated by the international nature of what we're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. Um, there's rumors that there's uh, financing coming from overseas, which if that's the case, that money has come here to cause problems. Let's put it that way. So we got to wait and see. It's going to be a long couple of days for CPD, but I'm confident that they could, they could get it done. All right, former Superintendent Gary McCarthy, thank you for being with us today and for your insights. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks, thank Gary. You.